Cleveland, proud home of the basketball champion Cavaliers, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, 30 and, 31, please. and less proudly of some of the most grinding poverty in America. When you have kids, you don't have money coming in. And I got hurt at work and trying to get help is, is really hard. According to the government, more than one in three Cleveland residents live below the U.S. poverty line. When it comes to children, more than half do. Of major U.S. cities, only Detroit is poorer. Party leaders preparing to attend the Republican National Convention say the presence of 50,000 Republicans here can help, as they did in Tampa, Florida, four years ago. The economic impact is pretty significant. In Tampa, it was about $214 million direct economic impact, and we expect to see similar numbers here in Cleveland. One of the largest political events in the world is taking place here. I think that the entire country is talking about Cleveland in, in a way that they haven't in, in decades. Professor Rob Fisher says events like the convention can boost the city's psyche and to a modest extent its coffers, but he fears the plight of Cleveland's poor could go unnoticed. I fear that during an event like this, our main goal is to make those folks invisible to our guests, that we try to hide you know, the, our blemishes. And that the, the poverty in Cleveland is, is, a, is a core aspect of of life here. Is anybody expecting any kind of solutions to come out of the people who come here in terms of poverty? Can I say no? <laughs> in downtown Cleveland, Republicans are expected to spend hundreds of millions of dollars as many of them celebrate their billionaire standard bearer. But not far away, there is poverty so stubborn the city's had a hard time shaking the nickname the mistake by the lake. Poverty and hunger. I think without this place, I wouldn't make it through the month. Here in middle America, the nation's breadbasket, 330,000 people don't know where their next meal is coming from, Kristen Morzoka says. Her food bank feeds 225,000. That means that there's a gap of more than 100,000 clients we're not reaching. Uh, folks who are um, stretching their food dollars as hard as they can, skipping meals to make ends meet, and making really, really tough decisions. When Republican decision makers leave the speeches and confetti of Cleveland behind, that is the lesson many here want them to carry back to Washington. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Cleveland.